So have you ever wondered what all these different settings do on a tailor-made driver? Sometimes it can be very, very confusing and many people say to me, well, what does that do? What does it do to my face angle? Do I know it changes my face angle? So this video, we're gonna take a look and we're gonna explain each of these settings and how it affects maybe light, loft, and also that face angle. So I still find so many people asking me about all these different settings. And what's the right setting for them? And again, this is something you could possibly relate to. Is like, all these settings are too confusing. I don't wanna know that wrench, don't wanna know about. That's, again, words I hear so many golfers will use. But do you know what? This is all here to help you. It, it, some of these settings might not even be um, associated with yourself and you're delivering your swing. But for me, as a custom fitter, I've got lots of options at my disposal to dial a club into your club delivery. So that can only be a good thing, can't it? It's like a multiple, think of it this way, it's like multiple drivers in one. Think of it another way, if you're making some swing changes, you get a driver, you get fit for it, you then make some swing changes, your delivery does change a little bit, you've got some options that you can then dial into your new club delivery potentially. So a driver that can, can work with you. Okay, so obviously with your wrench, as you unscrew the screw on the bottom and you remove the, the, the shaft from the head, you'll see all these different settings here, all these little notches and some information, but not all of it. And this is where I hope this video will help you. So first port of call, this is where everything's gonna be judged from is that standard loft. So whatever you line up to the back of the hosel of the golf club, where that arrow is, is gonna play that club in its standard position. So what I mean by standard position is a square sitting club face, a loft that is stated on the driver. So in this instance, I've got a nine degree head driver. So that is gonna be that stated loft and it's gonna play at its standard lie angle, which in this case, in a tailor-made SIM2 product is a 58 degree lie angle. So as you move that neck sleeve around, it's gonna change it from that standard setting. So many of you will know we can change loft up and down. So let's start with the loft first. So if I take it out of that standard setting and I move it into that higher position, okay i have basically added two degrees loft to that stated loft that's on the head so i'm a nine degrees now 11 degrees but what else does it change it's, and and those changes aren't actually shown on the on the actual adapter itself unless you go looking online so you move into that higher position and you are actually closing the club face by four degrees which is a lot isn't it so why would you go into a higher setting? So potentially if you're a golfer, we're gonna reference this around a right hander, obviously reverse this for a left hander, but you uh, work this around a right hander, you move the loft up by two degrees, it closes the club face by four degrees, so potentially helping to reduce a, a, a slice to the right, or obviously adding loft is potentially trying to get a ball to launch a little bit higher. So for instance, if I've got a golf who typically is loft would be around 10 and a half, 11 degrees of loft, but struggles maybe with the slice, I would possibly put them into a nine degree head up the loft by two degrees to get it around that 11 degree mark but then at the same time i'm closing that club face to try and eradicate a certain right shot or that slice the push that it has to the right of target so we have got little notches in between that standard setting up to the higher we've actually got one two notches and then we hit that higher position so one notch up from standard towards the higher setting is 0.75 degrees more loft and then you're closing the club face by 1.5 degrees and the line angle is becoming 0.5 degrees more upright. The next notch up, just one short of that full high setting is 1.5 degrees of added loft and then three degrees of closure of the club face and 1.25 degrees more upright in the lie from standard. So it gets complicated. There's a graph gonna be shown obviously on screen. Now, the other th aspect you've got to think about is as you add the loft and what, we do, what we're seeing then in those first two notches is the line angle comes more upright in the lie. Again, another way of trying to reduce a right shot of target. Upright being more left biased, a flatter line angle would be more right biased. Okay, so the, the, the opposite of that then applies if you go into that lower position. So uh, again, just for argument's sake, if I go into that full lower setting, bear in mind we've got two notches before we get to that full lower setting, I'm reducing the loft now by two degrees. So my nine degree now is becoming a seven degree driver. But obviously what that does is the opposite of the club face, it now sits at four degrees open. So anybody who maybe hits that left shot, who wants to try and see that face be a little bit more open at that impact, 
again that is a good option so that's going higher that's going lower so if we flip this uh, adapter all the way around you then got like a blank section at the back but as you take the adapter out it says upright lie so if we line that up towards the back of the hosel then what we're doing here is effectively changing the lie angle without changing the face angle or the loft so basically i'm playing it square sitting nine degree as it states there but i'm now playing this at a 60 degree lie which is four degrees more upright than the standard setting so again if you don't want to change a way a club looks at a dress some people don't want to see that closed club face to try and stop that right shot they don't maybe want to see an open club face so you can keep this the club sitting the same keep the loft at nine upright lie helps to reduce that right shot potentially giving you a bit more of that left bias and again there's notches in between which i'll show you on that graph as i'm putting this up onto the screen just to note there as well for you left handers is the adapter is different so don't get confused with a right-handed adapter in a left-handed driver it won't work it will confuse everything so you left handers will actually have an lh on the adapter so as you take the shaft out lh obviously stands for left hand and that adapter then obviously works in the same process but for the left-handed head so hopefully you haven't lost me there it does sound very complicated again i would always sort of stress go and get fitted initially for a driver like this or any other um, makes of drivers that have neck sleeves they don't all work in the same way so this is obviously i'm talking tailor-made pacific in this video but obviously there is options in other brands which do work in different ways and do different settings and different adjustability yes there's a lot yes it can be quite confusing you go and get fit so obviously there's a lot of settings there and as i say it's dialing it in for you personally so if you've got a telemade driver i'd love to hear your thoughts post comments down below let me know a setting that you've got it in and why you've got it in that setting was that through own trial and error or was it through a fitting process that you went to when you maybe bought the driver i'd love to hear your thoughts so do fire them down below okay hope that makes sense any questions any queries do fire them down below but that's how the neck tailor-made neck sleeve works and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon